In this video, I'm going to discuss integrals and introduce the idea of integrals. Recently, a person told me they'd rather be boiled in oil than repeat calculus. I'm going to take this equation and break it down, and hopefully it will be better than being boiled in oil. Whenever you calculate an integral, what you're doing is you're finding the area under a curve. The integral sign could be used to sum. It's the same thing as sigma, which means to sum, as in sum up or add up. Another symbol that is used in that formula I showed you initially is the delta sign, or dx, means change in. In essence, when you calculate an integral, you're making rectangles, and you're making them smaller and smaller and smaller. I'm going to walk you through that in just a moment. But adding up areas of smaller rectangles is exactly what we do when we calculate the area of anything. Imagine I have a rectangle that's 10 by 20, so the area is 200. When we calculate the area, we're taking a bunch of small rectangles and adding them up. Let me show you what I mean by that. I want to add in a y and x axis. Each of these green rectangles has a width of 1 and a height of 10. And when I calculate the area, I'm just adding up all these small rectangles. Each of these rectangles has a width of 1 and a height of 10, so the area is 10 of each of these. When I add them all up, this equals to 200. So all I'm doing is adding up or summing all these areas of all these rectangles. You could use the integral sign to say sum or add up all these rectangles. I could also use the sigma sign to say sum. Formally speaking, I could use delta x to signify the width of the rectangle. So delta x could also be written as dx. Either way, it means change in. I could use f of x to denote the height of the rectangle. So the area is f of x dx of each of these rectangles. I could just sum up the individual areas to get the total area. So the integral sign with f of x dx means to add up all the area. Now, if I wanted to estimate the area under the curve x cubed, I could use one rectangle, but I'd have a lot of error. Now, if I use two rectangles, I reduce my error but I still have a lot of error. Now, if I keep increasing the number of rectangles, you'll see that my error becomes smaller and smaller each time. So let me add in more rectangles. Again, my error begins to decrease. I can make them really narrow rectangles, and I have less and less error. Now you see I have a whole bunch of rectangles and the error is really, really small until eventually I keep doing this until I have an infinite number of rectangles. Let me line those up for you and you can kind of compare them and see that the error gets smaller and smaller as I add more and more rectangles until an infinite number of rectangles. I have one rectangle. I have two rectangles. I have four rectangles. Notice my width of my rectangle is getting smaller and smaller. And so it goes. Now I have six rectangles. Again, my width is getting smaller and smaller. I think I have here 11 rectangles, then 24 rectangles, and then an infinite number of rectangles. So I have the limit. My formal notation is the limit as n goes to infinity, or the number of rectangles goes to infinity. I sum all the area. I use sigma. I start with the first rectangle and go to the nth rectangle, or the infinite number of rectangles. And I multiply the height, which is f of x, times the width, which is delta x, which gives me the area. I could do this for any number of the rectangles. I could do it for six rectangles, as an example. All I'm doing is adding up the area of these six rectangles these little areas right here. And I also get error with that too, right? Now going back to an infinite number of rectangles, 
I could write this as the integral sine of f of x dx, which means add up all the areas, an infinite number of areas. Going back to x cubed dx means to add up all these areas. So that took me less than six minutes, and hopefully it was better than being boiled in oil. As always, share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Links to other videos below. Subscribe, like, share. Helps others find the videos.